I am gonna be staying inside for this episode and I am gonna be sharing with you the fifth of the principles to be able to 10 times your business. I'm actually up here because we have a, a talk happening tomorrow and it is all about this whole concept of 10 times in your business. So I'm in Blackburn right now today of all places and I am gonna be sharing this fifth of the principles which is the principle of talent. The word talent and the concept of talent links time and team. So if you're in a situation right now where you're like, I ran out of time, I don't have enough time right now, or if you're a place where it's like, I can't find the right team, talent is the glue that links the two together. I'm gonna show you exactly how. I'm gonna go through the process of that in the end of this video. I'm gonna show you exactly how you can actually get tuned in with a particular process to be able to get the right team and to reclaim your own time using this concept of talent. Uh, I'm gonna tell you before I do that, a story of myself and how I went from pretty much a situation where I was struggling in the business in Singapore, which I was kind of like leading on from uh, the story I told in the earlier episodes. And you can go watch all the episodes uh, on the YouTube channel right now to kind of see how we got to this fifth episode where I went from pretty much that struggle to then $3 million from a venture capital firm within four months as a result of the things I wanna share with you on here. Like, and, and, and the shift of that was pretty incredible and that all has to do with this concept of talent. And then I'm gonna start right now by sharing where this concept of talent comes from the first way. You know, if you actually take talent as a, uh, as a first place it shows up, it shows up as a measure of gold. So if you, go, if you go back to ancient times, talent was a measure of gold, and there's actually a story which is called the parable of the talents, which was about a master who is heading off on his travels, he goes to his three servants, uh, he says to them, right, uh, to the first one, here's five talents, uh, go out and make the most of that and I wanna have it when I come back. The second one he gives two talents, the third he gives one talent. So there's eight talents in total and there's a basically fundamental symbol of that because those of you who know about Wealth Dynamics knows that we have eight different types of talent which actually allows you to create the eight pathways to how every entrepreneur has gone out to create their success. And I'll come back to that in a little bit in this video as well. But basically, he goes off, he comes back and uh, when he comes back, uh, the first one comes up and says, well, I took your five talents and I went and put it to work and I now have 10 talents, so here you go. And the second one says, well, I did something pretty similar. I went out and I took your two talents and I went and I, you know, I invested it well and here's now four talents. And the third one goes, well, for me, I had one talent so I didn't wanna lose it. So I just basically dug a hole in the ground and I just you know, left it in a hole and I just buried it. But here it is, I've got one talent. <laughs> and the master, the master, what would you think the master would do, right? The master basically says, uh, congratulations on the first two. Then he says on the third one, uh, if you have something of value and you are not able to multiply it or grow it, you do not deserve it in the first place. And he says, you know, those with much will always be given more. Uh, and those who uh, are already having almost nothing will even have that taken away from them. So there's something really uh, poignant about that whole concept that we each have got a talent within ourselves. We each have got that kind of like nugget of gold. And if we're not making the most of it, it disappears. It gets taken away. But if we really start exercising it and growing it, then everything is possible. Our potential is then something that truly shines and we then attract all sorts of things to us because we're making the most of what we've already been given. This concept, by the way, goes right back uh, to Arabic times, uh, you know, Arabian Nights, right? The idea of the genie. A genie really comes from this concept of jinn, which is that the same thing. It's that we each have something very unique that we were given at birth, something that actually makes us unique. That's your jinn, right? That became genie. And the idea of the genie that can create, uh, you know, like, you know, make any of your wishes come true. And that's where we get the word genius, right? Genius basically is the end genesis of that concept of genie. So when we talk about the genius test, we're talking about, you know, every one of us being a genie based on the fact that we each have something unique about ourselves. When we talk about talent dynamics, we're talking about the same thing, which is that talent, when you're actually really shining your talent, is what allows people to trust you and they want to work with you because you're showing out what's truly unique about yourself as well. So this story that I wanted to share with you, it happened when I was about a couple of years into my journey in Singapore. So you can go watch the episodes before this one to hear that story of how I got going in Singapore. I had my publishing company. I set up this property guide called Singapore Property Guide. It was going pretty good. I mean, like it wasn't making a lot of money, but it was paying the bills. And I was there almost a little bit bored thinking, well, there must be a better way for me to grow this thing. But I, I hadn't created Wealth Dynamics in those days. I had no idea what my potential was. And as I was there trying to figure out how can I get more successful given that right now we're just working hard on this publication, a friend of mine who was one of the property agents that was advertising in our magazine, he shows up one day and he says, hey Roger, I'm gonna go out and get a million dollars. I go, what? He goes, I'm gonna go get a million dollars. Uh, and I said, how? And he goes, well, there's a guy in town and he's giving out millions of dollars for like, you know, startups that have great ideas. Uh, and I go, yeah, right, whatever. And I didn't even pay much notice. Well, guess what? Like a month later, he comes back, 
he's got the million dollars. So I'm there thinking, I've got an actual legit business. I'm here working. This guy didn't even have a business. How did he just get a million dollars? So I said to him, what did you do? He says, well, I saw everyone going in one by one. You know, they, they were all, he had a day which was all kind of like the pitch day. They all went in one by one. They had their ideas. They came out. You know, you could see that each one of them was a bit disappointed because he'd been pretty tough on them, asking these different questions. And this was one of the top entrepreneurs in Singapore at the time. Uh, he said he went in. His name's Patrick. He said, Patrick, he went in and he basically sat down and he says, look, you know, I've got a number of different businesses, but what I'm most interested in is what is it that you're looking to invest in? And he found out what the criteria was this person was looking to invest in. Singapore-based company, able to grow globally, focus on something technology-based, you know, and, and off the back of that, he was able to think through everything he was saying and saying, well, then that's what I want to tell you I'm going to be doing. I'm going to actually do a business that's going to ensure it's going to cover all those different aspects. Here's why I'm qualified to do this for you. Here's the people I know. Here's going to make it work. And the, the, the entrepreneur was so impressed by what he said. He says, you're one of the guys I'm going to invest in. I'm investing in you. Uh, and he actually went, invested. They set up the business. He put in the million dollars. And I sat back and I thought, really, is, is that is that how you do this? You basically just go and meet the needs of the people that are out there in order for you to be able to achieve the things you want to achieve as well. I was so busy in my business at the time, I thought, I'm gonna need help to do this because I can't just do this on my own, but surely I can go out there and get some funding as well. So what did I do? Well, this was intuitively what I did, knowing that I didn't have this concept of Wealth Dynamics before. And anyone who's brand new to this video channel, Wealth Dynamics is a system that's been used by over 700,000 entrepreneurs around the world, which allows you to see, am I more creative like a Richard Branson, or am I more analytical like a, like a Warren Buffett, right? Am I more uh, you know, introverted and good at systems as opposed to products like a Mark Zuckerberg, right? So you can see that every one of the eight is a different pathway, whether you're extrovert, introvert, creative, or intuitive, or sensory. Uh, and as a result of that, we know that we're creating value through either you know, innovation or timing. We're leveraging that value through magnifying or multiplying and all that information you can find that you know below this video but this and there's a there's a test a free test called genius test which shows exactly which of the four different geniuses you have which are really your fundamental talents am i more creative which means that i'm idea smart uh that's what we call dynamo uh, am i and that's who, what i am i'm always coming up with new ideas but then i'd end up sabotaging the idea because it's kind of like watering the plant and then pulling it up to see how the roots are going and wonder why it just died. And then there are those who are more, not spring energy, but summer energy. That's the, you know, uh, like blaze genius, right? So that's, those are the people who are really great at, at being people smart as opposed to idea smart, right? They're not asking the question what, they're asking the question who. And then you've got like the tempo energy, which is autumn, right? And these are the people who are very sensor smart, so right? They're the ones that are always going to be able to be good at timing, trading the markets, totally different. Uh, and then you're gonna have those that are on the steel side, which is more the introvert, right? And this is basically the ones who are gonna be more detail smart, right? They're the ones who are really good at being analytical. And each one of them is a very, very different genius that you need to have, whether it's dynamo, blaze, tempo, or steel. And what happened when I intuitively thought I need someone to run my business so that I can go out there and look for investing is that I went to one of the people I knew who was one of the most connected people in the publishing industry. He'd been working at EMAP, which is one of the largest publications. His name was Peter Watkins. Turns out that he's a supporter profile, right? If you're doing Wealth Dynamics, it's like someone like a Meg Whitman uh, or someone like a, a Steve Ballmer, someone who didn't ever have to start their own business, but are great at running other people's businesses. Uh, so he was definitely like a blaze genius, right? Great with people. And I said, hey, how about, because I couldn't afford him because he was like already highly paid in what he was doing. I said, how about you become part of this startup I'm gonna do, where I'm gonna go out and raise $3 million, we're going to grow this business, you're gonna have a share in the business as well, which means you're gonna be more entrepreneurial in what you do. And he goes, I'm, gonna, I'm up for it, right? I'm, I'm, I'm done with the corporate side, uh, I'm willing to quit, come join you, uh, I'll run the business for you so you don't have to be running it anymore. And within two weeks of me seeing my friend Patrick with his million dollar check, I had, Patrick, I, I had uh, Peter on board, and he just took over the running of the whole business. I'd gone from a place where I was constantly trying to focus at how do I run this business better to suddenly not even have to run it at all. Uh, and that was just that shift in thinking, which is I need someone else with a different talent than me, a different genius. Uh, and if I'm the one who's creative, if I'm the one that's you know, always the one coming up with ideas, he can then execute those ideas, manage the team, I can now go out there and look for the funding, which is what I did. It took me about a month and a half putting the business plan together, going and meeting VCs in town before three IPLC agreed to put $3 million into the business. So a lot of threes in there. And that, so effectively it was only about two and a half months between me saying, right, I'm gonna do something different and that happening. And if it wasn't for me bringing Peter on board, they wouldn't have wanted to invest. They're not just investing in one person. 
But more importantly, they said the condition of them investing was that we had to get a CFO, which is like the third person. That's someone who's very detail orientated. And you always need to have those three to really allow your talent to shine because it means that neither me nor Peter, who didn't have all the strengths in the detailed side, would be able to, you know, you can't hold a stool up with just two legs. You need all three legs that we needed to have the full team to make that happen. And so as a result of that, they helped us to go out there and look for the first right person. His name was Ong. He was a great CFO for another publishing company. He came and joined us, and then we got the $3 million. And I remember going back to Patrick and said, right, well, I managed to get my $3 million check. And then he congratulated me as well, and that's how Free Market Media grew as a company uh, and was really the kind of first of my multi-million dollar successes that came off the back of it from that one thought, which is you don't have to do it all yourself. And I'm showing that because you might be in a position right now where you're kind of thinking, why am I doing all this myself? Like there must be a different way to think about this. And it's by knowing what your talent is, knowing what is the talent of the people you need and then connecting them all together. So here's some practical advice, first of all. Where do you go find all the right people? Well, you're gonna find on Genius U, we already have 700,000 people all around the world that are all on there, and many of them have taken the Genius test. They can find, you can go in and they say, well, I'm creative, I'm looking for a detailed person. Uh, I'm looking for a, a, a people person. You'll find them there, aligned by purpose, you'll find them there you know, based on whatever industry you're in, uh, so you straight away can start connecting with the right people uh, and having them support you while you're supporting them. The second thing is that we have also a micro degree. And that micro degree, which is called Your Genius, you can go take, it's free of charge, and it allows you to really understand how you have a natural way to live, a natural way to learn, uh, you have a natural way that you lead, uh, you have a natural way you love, and by just realizing that you following your natural way is your way into your flow, then it also allows you to see that by helping others to be able to double up their talents, that also allows them to get into their flow as well. And that's really what leadership is all about. So even if you've heard this before, even if you know that you should be focusing at your strengths and getting other people who are strong in your weakness, too often we still try and do it all in ourselves, And that way you're actually missing the massive opportunity which is right in front of you. There's an opportunity cost to trying to do it all on your own. Second thing, what is the formula that you can follow? Well, if you know simply of the genius test, always look for the person one step clockwise. So someone who is dynamo will look for someone who's ablaze, right? Because that's the person that's going to actually be able to create that cycle for you. Right? and then look for one who basically is either on the tempo or steel side to then support you as well. Uh, similarly, if you're on the blaze side, far, start with someone on the tempo side, then look for someone who's more on the steel or dynamo side based on the kind of business you're in uh, and the growth cycle that you're in as well. If you know Wealth Dynamics, and you can go look for the Wealth Dynamics test and you can go do the micro degree also uh, on Genius U if you prefer to, you're gonna find on there that there's a one, two, three strategy, which means that if I'm a creator, which means that I'm really good like a Bill Gates or Steve Jobs are coming up with ideas, I need to have someone two steps. If I'm number one, next one is two steps along, which is supporter, which is why every great creator has got a supporter that's working with them, and then one, two, three to accumulator. Similarly, a star will go one, two to a deal maker. Every great star's got a deal maker, and then one, two, three to a lord. So this is about knowing that there's always gonna be three legs to the stool, and as long as you are always in a place where you can focus at your talent, someone else can focus at theirs, then you can, and you don't have to afford, you don't have to go out and employ people to do this. You could do this with peers in your group where you're gonna support them, they're gonna support you back. They can give you great ideas or they can go out and get connections for you. Uh, and similarly, you can do the same for them based on your strengths and who you are as well, right? So get into the right partnerships and the right way to get going. And then the final thing is coming back to that story, the story from thousands of years ago and the story that I shared about where I was not so long ago, like in the 1990s, well, what is that now? That's maybe 20 years ago when that happened. That if you actually start thinking from the point of view of how you can ignite your genius, remember that saying that everyone is born a genius. But if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will go through its whole life believing that it's stupid. Right? You have got that power inside yourself to be at this whole different level. Don't squander it. Don't bury it down in the dirt, but actually go out there and make that shine. And with that, I wanna say from snowy Blackburn here, I uh, hope you have a fantastic week ahead. Do post whatever comments, uh, whatever thoughts you have down below. Whatever you're looking for in terms of someone in your team, post that too. Someone else will be watching this video, they'll be out there looking at that as well. And I will catch up with you on our next episode.